Well, here's a new uh, multimeter that I just picked up. This guy in the middle here. Wasn't going to do a video on this because uh, there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, I kind of want to open it up and see, uh, check the date codes on the chips to see when it was made. I'm thinking probably mid 80s. So this is the Fluke 37. It's really just one of these uh, Fluke 27s repackaged into a, a, a desktop um, package. Now it didn't come with the tilt bale which connects down there so I kind of just made my own out of wood so that it's angled up properly. Um, I've been kind of wanting one of these since I saw it on uh, EEV blog uh, and uh, Tony Albus um, channel. Uh, those two guys had them and really liked them. They thought that was a cool uh, form factor so I picked up one relatively cheap off eBay. I think it was uh, what I pay 40 bucks uh, with free shipping. So I think that's pretty reasonable since you know when uh, Dave Jones on EV blog uh, features something on his channel, the prices on eBay kind of go up because everybody wants them. But I got this one; it works perfectly. Uh, it had one bad uh, uh, fuse in there, but it was the small little fuse that you get a uh, spare with the uh, unit. So I just popped the spare in; it's perfectly working. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, open this thing up and uh, take a look at it and uh, see when it was made. Okay, got the meter out of the case and this is actually the meter itself. There's not much to it. Again, it's just one of these repackaged. Got the same size. So I think I will go ahead and uh, Pull the uh, case off of it and just take a look, quick look. Okay, this is really about as far as I need to take this thing apart because right there's the uh, fluke chip and this is, let's say, the fifth week of 1989. I think that's what it says. Get closer, yeah, 05 of 89. So. That's when this one was made. Now this is really just like the uh, Fluke 27 or, or in the 25, like those two. Very similar layout. It's a little different on the display board, but uh, I don't really want to pull it apart anymore. No need, and um, I got the information that I wanted. But that's what they look like on the inside. So I'm get it back together, make sure it still works. There we go, all back together and still working. So, this thing works. It's got a little 9 volt battery in there. Very long battery life, kind of like these uh, meters, something like 800 to 1000 hours. And that's where the fuses are, you can access those to replace them, and that little one on the bottom. Right there is the one that I had to had to replace. So I ordered a new set, and right here's where uh, the spare goes. So when I get those in, I'll put a spare back in there. So there we go. There's the uh, very quick um, mini teardown and date check on the 1989 model of the uh, Fluke Model 37. It's a very cool uh, old uh, meter, super accurate, you know, not as rugged as these that it was based on, but you know, it sits on your bench so it doesn't need to be super rugged, but um, yeah, I like it. I think I'm gonna leave it right there and get some longer leads for it. These are the original ones that came with it, but so that I can reach everywhere on the bench and just use that as kind of the bench meter. So uh, that's it for the uh, Fluke 37. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video.